So when Goodspeed asked me to do Fiddler on the Roof, they told me the estate requires the Jerome Robbins original choreography, which was a fantastic opportunity to bring back these iconic dances. And when I started doing research on the bottle dance, in prior performances they've used magnets, Velcro, they've stiffened the hat to make it easier for the bottle placement. But when I went into rehearsal I decided, no, I want them to do the real thing and it just ups the stakes for the bottle dancers and they have the task of keeping the bottle on their head throughout the dance with no backup. Rehearsing the iconic bottle dance from Fiddler on the Roof, I chose to do it with no tricks. We have a regular old hat, it's the real deal, and the boys just have to balance the bottles on their heads. So we're gonna demonstrate how it's done. We've got Will Burton here. He's going to show you. All right. He shows the bottle. Hey, look at the bottle. <laughs> he puts it on and he holds his breath. And now. intense not only for the performer but for the audience to feel that tension. just about feeling feeling the weight of the bottle on your head uh, because we use mirrors for the longest time it's so much easier to look into the mirror see what your bottle's doing and adjust but uh, we took took away the mirrors recently and it's much more difficult it's just about feeling the weight of the bottle on your head and uh, keeping it in alignment with the rest of your spine and if a bottle drops during the show they have to back out they're out of the dance <laughs> no pressure <laughs> Drinks on that person too. Though. All right, Parker challenged us to make it the entire run without dropping a bottle, so we challenged him to make it through it with us one time. <laughs> Here we go. Hit it, Lane.